We kick off with our Friday Frenzy Game of the Week between Alcoa and Wes. Last year, this one was an absolute classic. One of the best games. Wes won 29-26, but Alcoa had a last second shot at the end zone to win it. Of course, that didn't complete. Now the two teams meet in their class again with completely different squads. Cody Pagach waits a little too long, tries to scurry out of the pressure, but it's too much heat from Anderson Smith, forces the Tornadoes to punt. Doesn't take long for Alcoa to get it back, though. Hand off to Elijah Cannon, five yards through traffic to finish it off. Tonight it was all Alcoa, 17 to nothing. West knows they have to get something on the board before the break. Hunter Dance, 18 yards in the air to Connor Cummings. He comes down with it, Rebels down by 10. Half wasn't over yet, Pagach unleashes a bomb. 44 yards in the air and Brandon Winton with the grab. The Tornadoes are rolling. Same drive, same combo, Pagach slings it. And it's a beauty in the air. Whitner reels it in at the three. What a snag, and he knows it. Colby Bear finishes that off. Next play with a TD, 24 to seven. No score in the second half, so that holds as the final. Casey K almost got hit there, but has more from the team on top. Hey, thanks, guys. I'm joined now by Alcoa head coach Brian Nix. Now, coach, the last time that West lost in the regular season was October 22nd, 2021. They're on a 21 consecutive game win streak. But I want to know about your guys. What did you learn from them tonight and their resiliency to come out when it matters most? I think we'd really challenge. We hadn't started out well this year. You know, we'd 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 reacted to adversity well. We continued to play hard, but we hadn't got a great start. So uh, really some key plays in the kicking game. You know, the block punt, the great punt return by Brandon down here, uh, you know, a couple deep shots. And so really the, you know, the kicking game put us, in, uh, you gave us an edge. We knew they were so good on defense, it was going to take time for our offense to get going. Several fourth downs that you went for tonight, Coach. Fourth and two, fourth and ten, to mention a few. What went into utilizing those opportunities when you had that sizable lead already on your side? I think you just want to stay aggressive. You know, you start you know, playing prevent and playing passive. I've just I've never been a passive mindset guy, and I don't believe in taking chances and being stupid about it, but let your kids win the game. Put them in position, and, uh, you know, our, our fake punts have been there all year long. That's something we would rather fake. If you give us an opportunity, we'd rather fake it than punt it. But you can't do that without a guy like Eli Graff back there. So um, he just, he affords us so many luxuries. You guys utilize two quarterbacks, Eli Graff, as you mentioned, and Cody Pagosh. What goes into who you send out there in certain situations? It's never been a quarterback competition. Cody does some really good things. Eli Graff does some really good things. And so you try to take what the defense has given you and try to work those guys and make sure that they can equally run, equally pass, and, and play to their strength. And I think it definitely gives us some uh, weapons and it hopefully causes difficulties to uh, other defensive coordinators that they have to prepare for both of them. Alcoa stays undefeated. Congrats tonight on the win, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.